good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this, but welcome. Welcome to this week's releases. And if you're new here, friends, enjoy the video. And if you like what you see, maybe drop a like for me or even a comment. Or if you're feeling super generous, which is always a great thing, hit that sub button so you can be notified of more videos like these and the other videos we do here at Stubbs121 Gaming. Oh, by the way, I'm Stubbs121, and you are a part of our weekly, well, sort of weekly, gaming news episodes where we cover the hottest releases of games coming out for this week. This week has been a bit slow on my end as far as posting videos, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. If you head over to my Instagram or my Twitter, you'll notice I put up a picture and a video with some seriously good upgrades to my computer. Trust me, I needed them pretty badly. Thursday night, broke my whole computer apart and with a friend on FaceTime. By the way, if you're watching this friend, thank you so freaking much. You have no idea how thankful I am to have you. I was able to install the new components my computer greatly needed. I picked up an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X 8-core CPU with a Wraith Prism LED cooler and an MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. These are a much needed upgrade to the computer as some of you could tell that the recent Horizon Zero Dawn videos, I've commented that it was lagging a bit and I needed to make a change desperately. Hopefully with these new components we can put out some seriously good videos and keep you guys happy. Because honestly, that's what I love to do, to make you guys smile, and hopefully bring some joy to your day. Like I always say, don't forget to be awesome, don't forget to love, because hell guys, we could certainly need it. Thank you guys for being a part of the video so far, and let's get this underway with the games, because that's what you guys came here to see, right? Exactly. Alright, let's do this guys. Alright, you amazingly awesome and beautiful people. First up on our list, from the studio over at Big Blue Bubble, which, to be honest, I think is one of the greatest video game developer names I've ever heard, and there's some pretty freaking good ones out there too. The game I'm talking about here is Foregone, a fast and fluid 2D action platformer built to the brim with legendary loot and a gorgeous pixel art style. Who doesn't love a good platformer, and if you've been searching for your next one, guys, I got you covered. We are taken to the city of Caligan, who had thought they recovered after a devastating war, but are once again besieged by a corrupting force known as the Harrow. As the toughest, most badass super soldier to walk the earth, it's up to you to investigate the origins of the Harrow and prevent its reanimated minions from destroying our home. There's just one small problem. We all know that the dead will rise because, well, that's what happens when you reanimate stuff. The villain always goes for reanimating the dead as a way to make us hurt, as a way to make us feel and fight off the ones that we once loved. But that's not just it. Old memories that should have remained dead, that should have remained quiet are being brought to us as well. And that's not good for us at all. With a compelling story of regret and conspiracy as you hack and slash your way through hordes of enemies, it's up to you to carry out your mission and save Caligan from total annihilation. A hybrid style action platformer with a narrative driven gameplay mixed in with visually stunning 2D style gameplay and as many weapons and loot as you can find, Foregone is bound to be one of those games that will keep you playing for a while. Come pick it up October 5th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Switch. Alright guys, next up on the list is a game a lot of people have been waiting for for quite some time. This game first released all the way back in 1998 from Larian Studios. This game has captured the hearts of many and has been a mainstay in the RPG community for quite some time. I present to you Baldur's Gate, coming out for Stadia and PC October 6th. Now this game was initially released to amazingly positive reviews from the community on September 30th, and they hope to keep that train moving forward when it's released for PC and Stadia. Now what exactly is Baldur's Gate? Well if you've lived under a rock for the past 20 years or so, Baldur's Gate is a role-playing game similar to the style of Dragon Age from EA. An RPG, again if you've been living under a rock for the past 20 plus years, is a type of game that allows you to take command of a character. You build the character, you design him or her, or it, really do whatever you want. Build relationships, destroy relationships, piss people off, help people, or just do whatever the fuck you want. It's up to you and that's the joy in an RPG. It allows you to do basically, for the most part, whatever you want. It will certainly push the story along, but even that sometimes will change depending on what actions you take or who you help or don't help. What's really great about Baldur's Gate is that for some of you who are big fans of D&D, it will be taking elements from the tabletop gameplay style and implementing them into the game. What that means, I have no clue, because I haven't played it yet, but I most definitely will. You can watch over an hour of gameplay that was presented to us at PAX East in 2020 and see for yourself exactly what Baldur's Gate is. I've never played one before, but I'm super excited to start playing this one. Now the setting takes place just outside the city of Baldur's Gate, but only certain parts of the city will be available to our character depending on the actions we take and who we are as a character. 
I'm assuming this will open up as the time goes on and we explore more of the story, but who knows? Our character and his companions are infected with a parasitic tadpole that should turn them into mind flayers. Wait a minute here. Mind flayers? Like in Stranger Things? Oh my gosh, the world is connected! You saw it here, folks. Baldur's Gate and Stranger Things are connected. New video coming out showcasing how are they connected? Yeah, not really. See, Stranger Things, uh, they help to identify who the villains are by making them similar to the D&D characters. So, of course, they're related in some sort of a way. But who knows what will happen to our character? All we do know is that we aren't turning into the Mind Flayers like we're supposed to. Come check out Baldur's Gate 3, coming out for PC and Stadia October 6th. Next up on our list is a charming puzzle adventure game coming out for Switch and PC October 8th. So go out there and pre-order this one already. I already have, and I'm really looking forward to it. The visual colorful art style and the vast array of puzzles in this next game hooked me right away, so I'm really looking forward to this next game. What I'm talking about is I Am Dead. No guys, really, that's the actual name of the game. I Am Dead. Brought to us by the same developers who made Hokom and Wilmot's Warehouse, I Am Dead provides colorful puzzles to help us explore the afterlife. Meet Morris Lupton, a recently deceased museum curator of the tiny island of Shellstrom, who reunites with his ghost of a dog, Sparky, only for him to discover that a disaster is about to destroy his beloved island. If I could spend a little more time with the pups I've lost over the past few years, I'd be the happiest man alive. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Pets are more than just pets, they're family, and I'd be a pretty happy guy to see mine. All right, back to the game. With his newfound power, Morris is able to peer inside objects and people who reveal their contents and memories on this island. It's up to our duo to unearth the number of Shellstrom's lost and scattered ghosts, visiting the places they spent a lot of time in the world when they weren't dead. As the duo learns more about the island around them, stories of the island's history and folklore will be uncovered, as well as who silenced the volcano. Will we be able to prevent this disaster? Who knows, but you can pick up I Am Dead on October 8th for Switch and PC. Alright people, we're getting another RPG on our hands coming out for the Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on October 8th. Welcome to Inkenfell, another colorful, turn-based RPG about a group of troublesome magic students as they battle spirits, myths, monsters, and even teachers, with a heartwarming and twist-filled story about friendship, trust, love, and loss. You'll get wrapped up in this light-hearted RPG. With the ability to play up to six students, three in a battle at a time, and with over 45 unique spells to blast your enemies back, or poison them, or even blast them out of the sky, the possibilities are endless on how you'll take down your enemies. Don't forget to heal the ones that fall ill or sick. With over 100 items to discover from wands, hats, cloaks, and magical artifacts, and of course secret treasure, every item you acquire will assist you in fighting those powers threatening you and your fellow students. What's really interesting about this game here is that there's no MP or mana cost. It's all based on timing, so make sure you learn the correct timing on certain spells or you'll be stuck as the monsters come to get you instead. Explore the vast school of magic from the alchemy labs to the astronomy tower. The school is open for your exploration. Come discover Inkenfell coming out for Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on October 8th. Guys, we are moving through this video and I love it. Touching on some really good games. Some games that will be knocked out of the parks, and others, who knows, they may be just as good. But it's up to you to go find out. And if you're curious as well, I have the entire list down below for anyone who's looking for that particular game that I did not mention. With that being said, let's tackle our next game. Now let me let me set the mood here for you guys. This this is a tough time. You are afraid. You are always afraid. You are constantly being forced into hiding, wondering whether or not you will be saved or left to die. Those of which that serve you, that did what you asked of them, have now turned, have now come after you. You are being hunted. You are being slaughtered. You are being kidnapped from friends and family. All you can do is hide and survive and pray that they don't find you next. You are human and you are being hunted to extinction. This is The Uncertain Light at the End, a sequel to The Uncertain Last Quiet Day, where we met an inventor robot named RT that joined a small group of like-minded machines trying to help what was left of the human race. Machines have taken over the world, and humans are being hunted and brought to the point of extinction. In The Uncertain Light at the End, we are one of those surviving humans that were saved by the machines breaking away from the ones who want to hunt us. 
Together with Emily, an outcast, you will have to survive in a world ruled by robots and learn to survive against these machines. Why did the robots go rogue? Why did they start to attack us? Was it an AI gone rogue or something much worse altogether? History has shown mankind is able to fight and survive in the worst of times and find ways to rebuild and grow, but this time it seems much worse and I'm not sure if we'll ever be able to survive. Something tells me this time it's worse than we thought. This is not just a fight for our survival, but for all of mankind. Come and join me as we take this fight to the machines and no longer be afraid and hide. This time, we fight back. Come pick up the uncertain. Light at the end for PC October 8th. Hot damn guys, we finally made it to our last game of the day, and this one is an all-time favorite of mine, and so many others. Now when I think of being tilted, I usually think of Call of Duty, someone spawn camping, or somehow knowing exactly where I'm at every single damn time. Or I think of League of Legends, where I get ganked so many times that I can't do anything, and then my team starts flaming me, and I start flaming back, and it turns into a giant mess, and the opposing player just keeps taunting me and taunting me, left and right, stupid little Teemo, hunting my every nightmare. But I digress, sort of. This is another one of those tilting style games. I've seen too many videos of people throwing their controller at the wall, or at the TV screen for getting scored on, or a player being in the wrong position, or scoring and you find out that you're off sides, this is one of those games. I love this game, but I'm freaking terrible at it. I'm talking about FIFA 21, my friends, a game that has been around for what feels like forever, just like every other EA Sports game that comes out each year. But each year there's always something new and better, so let's take a look at those. With multiple game modes, from gameplay to career mode, to the controversial FIFA Ultimate Team, Volta Football, and an unrivaled authenticity you don't see from any other game, FIFA 21 always brings up the stops. Now when I say controversial, in regards to the FIFA Ultimate Team, it returns to the idea about loot boxes and if they're considered gambling. Personally, I feel that they are, but that is neither the time nor the place for that. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about loot boxes and if we should have them or not, and if they should be just for cosmetics or not. With over 700 teams and over 17,000 players to play from, FIFA 21 will keep you playing for days. With a chance to play on the streets in Volta Footballs, and also customize exactly where you want to play, for example, say on top of a skyscraper. The possibilities are only as small as your imagination will take them. FIFA 21 is sure to bring out all the stops like they do every year and send more and more people into a tilting frenzy. Come enjoy FIFA 21 when it drops for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC October 9th. Well that wraps up another this week's releases guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys mean the entire world to me. This is awesome. I love doing this. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys do like what you see, definitely don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment maybe if you're feeling it too. And if you're feeling, like I said, extra generous, maybe drop me a sub as well too because we put out these videos pretty often. Sometimes I miss one, sometimes I miss two, but that's okay. I keep trying my best guys. Thank you guys so much. I've been Stubbs121. You guys have been awesome and I appreciate everything. You guys have just watched the latest this week's releases and if you guys do like what you see check out the entire list below because that's where I always keep them. Like I said I'm Stubbs121 and I will be sure to catch you guys in the next video and like I always say don't forget to be awesome and don't forget to love because hell guys we could always use it. Adios guys catch you guys in the next video. Bye!